Hey Defenders, welcome back. So if you guys have ever been wondering if your detection alerts will really fire when an attacker shows up, well today we're going to go through an exercise of how we can test and validate that. So in this video we're going to integrate Atomic Red with Velociraptor and Copilot to run adversary emulations on our Windows host and hopefully watch our detection rules start to trigger. Atomic Red is a library full of self-contained what they call atomic tests, which are mapped to the MITER attack framework. So it's an awesome library full of various commands that replicate a single tactic or technique and is a perfect tool when it comes to validating whether our detection rules will actually trigger on events that we expect it to trigger on. And so this regular testing will help introduce any blind spots, uh, verify telemetry flow, and will help keep your uh, detection rules from drifting out of sync with any threats. So huge shout out to Atomic Red for even making something like this possible. But really, I hope throughout this video, you guys will see the benefit of how we've integrated Velociraptor and Atomic Red and also in Leverage Copilot to kick this off. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to first install Atomic Red and I'll link to their uh, repository below. Uh, super easy to install. I'll also include the install command that I used uh, within the medium post as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this PowerShell command and I'm going to paste that onto my Windows endpoint. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up PowerShell and paste that in there. And then once I run this, um, you should get Atomic Red installed, which will create uh, this folder under C Atomic Red. And here we can see a list of all of the atomics. And once that's installed, let's go ahead and see if we can run this import module. So now with our import module, we can just do a test here. And I do see that Atomic Red was successfully installed. So I'm not gonna run any attack not just yet because I'm actually going to leverage Velociraptor to do so. so how are we gonna do that? Well, thankfully, Wes Lambert put together a Velociraptor artifact to, that we can leverage to simulate an attack using Atomic Red. Now, I have to clean this up a little bit to best fit how we're doing it because I did spot a few issues that I came across during my testing, but here within this public repository, we have this Windows attack simulation.yaml file here, which I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this value or copy the contents of this file. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Velociraptor I'm going to go ahead and select on my view artifacts and I'm going to select add an artifact and then I'm just going to remove these contents and paste this in here. So this will be the artifact that will leverage to simulate atomic red attacks on our Windows endpoint. So I'll go ahead and save that off. I've already done so. And then what I'm going to do, let's just go ahead and run a simple test. Let's, uh, I think one of the atomic reds is to add an entry to our task scheduler to have something run at boot time. So let's go ahead and trigger this off just via Velociraptor first, not via Copilot yet, so that we can make sure that our atomic red or, or launching our atomic red attack directly from Velociraptor is going to execute as expected. So go ahead and uh, select this add new collection. I'll go ahead and search for our atomic red. Select that guy. I'm gonna go ahead and go into configure parameters. I'm gonna go ahead and disable install the atomic red execution framework because we've already done that. And honestly, I haven't tested this. So I assume it works, but I haven't tested it. So I recommend just manually installing it yourself, but I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. And then I'm going to also go ahead and uncheck the cleanup execution artifacts because so Atomic Red will leave whatever attacks it executed without cleaning it up if I uncheck this. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this. And because as a result, I should see our new uh, scheduled tasks added to our task scheduler once I execute this. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. Here you'll see also the list of all of the attacks that are ported via this artifact. So there's a ton of them. They're also referenced by the MITRE technique and tactic as well. So that's useful when it comes to if you want to just simulate attacks on a particular MITRE framework. And if I scroll down to my scheduled task here, I'm gonna go ahead and just select this one guy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select launch. I can now start to look at the logs of this attack. So we can see it's doing some pre uh, preliminary stuff in terms of 
uh, creating a CSV file to capture our results. And here we can actually see it invoking our atomic red. It's invoking the atomic test and it's also passing in the miter attack that we provided, right? Which should have uh, created a scheduled task. If I go into our results, all right, cool. We see that looks to have executed and completed. And now if I refresh my task scheduler here, sure enough, we now see that this new startup task has been created. And if I scroll down and check this out, look at the command line that was actually executed. So sure enough, we see it creating a scheduled task, aiming it with the name that we just saw within our listed scheduled task. It's choosing to run it on start. So in any Windows boot, anytime Windows boots up, it's running as the local system account. And then we see what it's launching is actually just uh, the calc executable. So my calculator would pop up every time I uh, would log into this endpoint with this scheduled job. And another cool thing too, if we go back into Velociraptor and we select this hyperlink here, this will take us to the Atomic Red GitHub repo. And here we can look at our test that we ran and sure enough, look at the attack commands. That is what we see within our gray log logs, right? So we now have the confidence that, all right, our wazoo detection rules are detecting on this specific event, right? So pretty cool. And we've now been able to easily simulate that with Velociraptor. So let's make it even easier for you guys. What if we could invoke these attacks directly from within Copilot? Well, with our latest release, we indeed can. So under alerts here, if I go into my Atomic Red team, here you'll notice all of the Atomic Reds. I can go ahead and filter by a category if I'd like, or sorry, all the Atomic Red framework attacks that you can run. And then you can select each of these guys to see specifically, all right, what are these attacks actually doing? And you could also manually run these commands on an endpoint as well. So also an easy way for you guys to see the commands that are being ran by these attacks and then you can validate are your detection rules detecting on what you would expect it to so all of the uh, atomic red tests uh, will have their supported descriptions that you can see here then copilot and then you'll also notice the simulate attack so let me go ahead and find i'll just run it on that scheduled task one again and go here so i'll go ahead and select simulate attack and here we can see all the various tests that are applicable to this attack. And so here, this specific attack has uh, six different tests that we could run against it. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that same attack that I did. So I'll select that. And now it's asking, uh, Copilot's now asking us to select an endpoint. So this endpoint would need to, of course, be connected to Velociraptor because we're using Velociraptor to actually run this attack. You also would need to have the Windows Attack Simulation Atomic Red Team artifact loaded into Velociraptor, which is what we previously did. And then would also, of course, need to have the Atomic Red installed, which is the first step that we did in this video. Now, I would recommend dedicating just like a test box to running these attacks. I wouldn't worry about installing Atomic Red on all of your endpoints within your environment. I would recommend dedicating one machine to being a hack simulation, and that's the guy that you simulate your attacks on, and that's the one you, uh, you install Atomic Red on. So I'll go ahead and select my endpoint here. But Copilot is going to list all endpoints that would be applicable to the attack. In this case, it can only be ran on a Windows endpoint, so you wouldn't see any of my Linux ones here. So go ahead and select Next. And then I'll go ahead and select simulate attack. And what that's going to do is now within Velociraptor, you see a new collection has been kicked off. So we can go ahead and look at the logs. We can see that it's going through its prereqs here. Now it's simulating and running the attack. Again, you see my cleanup flag here. So we shouldn't see any evidence of the scheduled task actually existing. All right? If I go back onto my Windows machine, refresh here sure enough we still don't see it existing it looks to have completed and if we look back into copilot sure enough we see that the simulation has been executed so now if i also go back into gray log and let's refresh this here and sure enough if we filter on our sysmon event one here we can see a various kind of chain of attacks here so we can see we get an event here windows command prompt started by a normal process here we see our similar 
here we see it actually cleaning up as well, right? Because it's doing that slash delete. So it's actually cleaning up. We're actually seeing it clean up the scheduled job. If we look at one of the earlier ones here, we can actually see it creating the scheduled job. So we're not only logging that the scheduled job is being created, but that it's also being deleted as well. And we're getting multiple Wazoo events coming in that is indicating that, hey, this activity has happened on our endpoint. So as you can see, there's a ton of Atomic Red attacks that you can simulate. It's a really cool and powerful tool, especially when it comes to validating your security detection rules. And hopefully this new integration now bridging the gap between Copilot, Velociraptor, and Atomic Red, you guys now have an easy means to be able to simulate your attacks, validate your rule sets, identify gaps that may exist with your detection rules, and overall strengthen the posture of your seam stack. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. In the next video, I will get I will cover the Linux side. We can also simulate Linux attacks as well. So stay tuned for that and I appreciate your time and I will see you in the next one.